Hello, I'm Zizad, and in this video I present you something very nice. Developer The Flow has updated his Vita Shell utility program, and now it enables USB connection via a computer and a PlayStation Vita. You heard right, you cannot put your USB cable into your PlayStation Vita, connect it to your computer, and you can move and drag and drop files as if it would be PlayStation Portable. As you can see, my thing here is my PlayStation Vita. I can put my VPKs here, I can put other stuff here and so on. This looks a little bit... I don't know, it kind of looks like there's nothing in here and that's because most of the system folders are hidden. So how can you solve this? You open this PlayStation Vita connection, you press into the folder, you press ALT and then you go to extras, folder options, then the middle thing and then um, hide system files and if you remove this tick here it's even gonna ask you are you sure and you say yes and if you do this you can see all the other folders and with other folders I mean folders like PSP emulator or music or email or whatever like basically everything you could usually and previously only see via the FTP connection is now visible via the USB connection so for example you press and open the PSP emulator folder then you have this folder structure and as you can see it's the PSP folder structure like PSP, game, bloop and then you have your games here for example this game is a Wipeout Pulse demo and this pboot turns my Wipeout Pulse demo into an arc bubble just an example so you can basically do everything you previously could only do via either FTP or copying it via, via CMA and then moving it via PSP filer basically now just via the USB connection. And how can you do this? How can you achieve this? So at first your PlayStation Vita has to run version 3.60. It must not be below 360 and it must not be above 360. If your version is below 360 you can update to 360. If your version is above 360 like 361 or 363 then you can't do this. So if your device is running version 3.60 then you can download the Vita Shell bubble, well, not bubble, but Vita Shell program, the VPK file, and install it. And at first, you need the Henkaku for your PlayStation Vita. And if you have this, you launch it and then you install your Vita Shell.vpk bubble. And if you are already running a Vita Shell bubble on your PlayStation Vita, you just have to update it to version 1.50. And you can easily update it by just drag and dropping the old VP, uh, the new VPK onto the Vita and then pressing, well, installing it and it's updated. Or you can go into the settings of your Vita shell. That is, you open the Vita shell bubble, press start, I think. And if you do press start, you can enable the auto update. And the automatic update for the Vita shell utility basically checks if there's an update available and if there's one available it's gonna automatically in download it, install it, reboot and then it's done. So how to connect via USB? You just open Vita Shell and press the select button. So basically the previous method to invoke the FTP is now the method to invoke the USB connection. Um, I do think you need to have CMA installed on your computer for the USB connection to work due to requiring a driver but otherwise this should work fine. The speeds are better than via USB as far as I know, so it should be faster to move files on your PlayStation Vita. And you should be able to move and touch any file you want, so including eboot PPP files, pboot PPP files and so on, so basically what's usually protected by the system. It's just not recommended to format the memory card. You should not format the memory card via your computer, you should do it via the Vita itself. Otherwise you might corrupt your memory card and it's gonna be broken. So be careful using this USB utility. It's pretty nice that you can do this. And I mean, for example, I can transfer some files. Do I have a big file here? VPK Adventure Time. Yeah, let's take this one. I can transfer this file onto the Vita. Uh, Vita Shell. Copy. And you can see it's copying the file, it's not too slow, I mean it's 6 MB, that should be better than the FTP connection. So it's pretty nice that you can just connect it via the USB connection like with the PlayStation Portable. Just wanted to keep you up to date 
that this has been released. And if you're already running Henkaku, you can update your VPK, Vita Shell, VPK, and now use the USB connection. So once again, thanks to the flow for this awesome thing. I'm the Dad, and see you soon.